Sarcoidosis. Seek answers. Inspire results. I kept having shortness of breath when there was no real cause. I wasn't doing anything physically taxing or overexerting myself, but I kept struggling to catch my breath. Then I got this painful bumpy rash on my shins, and my knees got severely stiff and sore. It took three doctors and four different diagnoses before we finally figured out that this weird conglomeration of lung, skin, and eye symptoms I've been having was, in fact, sarcoidosis. My eyes started giving me problems, including light sensitivity, teariness, redness, and sometimes blurred vision. At first, my eye doctor couldn't figure out what was wrong. I had chest pains, and then I had a rash on my body. Then my eyes got red and my vision got blurry. Sometimes I ran a fever and I was tired all the time. It didn't make sense. Could all these symptoms be related? These people were eventually diagnosed with sarcoidosis, an inflammatory disease that can affect nearly any organ in the body and can be difficult to diagnose. Sarcoidosis happens when the body's natural system for protecting against inflammation goes into overdrive and causes cells to cluster into lumps known as granulomas. No one knows what causes sarcoidosis, but it's important to recognize that you're not alone. Sarcoidosis is more common than most people realize, with about 200,000 people living with sarcoidosis in the U.S. It happens mostly to people between the ages of 20 and 40. But there is good news. In most cases, sarcoidosis goes away on its own. Sarcoidosis can affect any organ, but the lungs are involved in up to 90% of patients. Other organ systems commonly affected include the skin, eyes, and lymphatic system. It may involve the heart, liver, and kidneys, but less often. Sarcoidosis can mimic other diseases, and different people have different symptoms, so the diagnosis can only be made if other diseases are ruled out first. Sometimes your doctor will need to recommend other tests to sort things out, from chest x-rays and CT scans to breathing tests, blood tests, and biopsies. So what's the prognosis for people diagnosed with sarcoidosis? Generally, it's pretty good. With attentive medical care, most cases of sarcoidosis are not severe and don't cause any lasting damage to the body. In fact, for most patients, sarcoidosis goes away on its own in one to three years. For those with moderate to severe symptoms, some people get relief by taking corticosteroids, such as prednisone. However, many patients have difficulty with the side effects of these and other treatments and need to explore other options. General good health practices such as exercise, good nutrition, plenty of sleep, and stress relief help too. But in truth, there are patients who gain only limited relief from available treatments. Just knowing what the problem was gave me some relief. And with help from my doctor, my breathing symptoms became more manageable. After about a year and a half, the sarcoidosis went away and now I feel fine. My doctor prescribed topical and oral medications that alleviated the pain and reduced the rashes and patchy skin. And while my sarcoidosis seems to be under control, I do experience a number of side effects from the medications I take. I went through two difficult years where my eyes gave me repeated problems, but nothing so extreme that it affected my ability to work or drive. I still have up and down times, but now I know what to do when one of my symptoms recurs. Having the lymph nodes in my neck biopsy was a little scary, but it helped my doctor diagnose sarcoidosis. My case is more serious, with extensive granulomas in the lungs, which give me shortness of breath, as well as lymph node involvement. But I'm hopeful that with the continuing support from my doctor, I'll continue to get symptom relief so that sarcoidosis stays a disease I can live with. To learn more about sarcoidosis and get a simple guide to the five questions you should ask your doctor if you think you may have the disease, visit our website at chestnet.org forward slash sarcoid. This video is brought to you by the Chest Foundation and the Foundation for Sarcoidosis Research.